Is no so this I in C has accent mark on top of that that means we need to put stress on this sound so it's C O no many people when they want to assure the speaker that they are listening to him and they are understanding what he is trying to say they acknowledge that by saying C C C C C C so you will listen this C thing so many times and sometimes it goes really beyond its literal meaning it's not only yes but it's something like, like yeah I agree or I completely comprehend what you're trying to explain. So the C is like everywhere. And the no is like English language no. Three words are quite important if you want to be able to communicate in Spanish language. Number one is como, that is how. Number two is cuanto, or cuantos, that's how much or how many. Number three, is donde donde is where okay i've decided to make a separate series based on how to ask questions but today we would be covering up donde first of all and a bit of cuanto as well so cuanto is very important especially when you are going out and you want to buy something and you just want to ask how much does it cost so it's easy cuanto cuesta okay so cuanto is how much Cuesta comes from verb costar, okay, that means to cost. So, cuanto cuesta is how much does it cost. So, again, you can see cuesta, it has U and E and the pronunciation is quite straight. It includes U and E, so it's cuanto cuesta. Repeat after me, cuanto cuesta. Next word is donde. Donde, as I told you, is where. Okay. I have prepared a list of uh, sentences that you can use using the structure of donde. So donde is used with esta to tell where is. So when we want to ask about the location of something, we start it with donde and then we add esta and then we add the name of the place. For example, donde. Esta el baño. Okay, let's try to do a bit of dissection of this sentence. So you can see this accent mark right on top of O. It's because uh, we want to put more stress on the O part. So it's it's not donde, it's donde. And we have another right at top of A in the in the second word. So it would be esta. So it's donde esta el baño. So this ñ is the mix of n and y sound. Donde esta el baño. You can also say donde esta el servicio. So servicio or baño, okay? By the way, if you want to learn just from scratch, you can check out the other series that I am um, uploading parallelly. The name of that series is Espanol Paso a Paso, where we do things step by step. Okay? So let's get back to Donde. If we want to ask uh, about the metro station, for example, the nearest metro station uh, from my house is Metro Bamboo. So I would say, Donde esta el metro Bamboo? Where is Metro Bamboo? And if you just say Donde esta el metro It would mean the nearest metro station Now, talking about the bus stop Donde esta la parada de autobus So donde for where esta Coming from verb estar that is verb to be La, because it's feminine, bus stop is feminine. La parada de autobus. 
Again, you can see it has A and U. The pronunciation is quite straight and logical. Autobus. Now, when we want to ask about the ticket counter or the place where we can make payment in restaurants or in any store, we can say, Donde esta el mostrador? Mostrador is that place. And last one, for example, a restaurant or cafeteria, you can say, Donde Esta el restaurante. Again, T A U in restaurant, so it's complete and quite logical. Restaurante. So it's el restaurante because it's masculine, and if it is cafeteria, we would say, Donde esta la cafeteria because it's feminine, so it's la cafeteria. Okay, let's try to practice it. I want you to uh, repeat these sentences after me. Okay. Donde está el baño? Donde está el servicio? Donde está el metro? Donde está la parada de autobús? Donde está El mostrador. Donde está el restaurante? Donde está la cafetería? So we successfully did a series of questions which might be useful for you in case you're looking for something and you're not sure where that is. So like in English language, pardon is used for very minor um, things where we really don't want to say sorry but still we want that person to excuse us in some way for example you are trying to listen to someone but probably you're not able to hear him or her properly you would say pardon in Spanish as well we do it so the form of pardon in Spanish is perdón and if in case they want uh, to say sorry but not actually something big like sorry for small things so it's perdón Repeat after me, perdón. So the next word which is very important for you guys is por favor. Por favor is please. Okay? For example, I go to a restaurant and I ask for coffee. I mean, I always ask for that typical Indian coffee with milk. So I always say, café con leche por favor. Okay? So it's coffee, café. Con, with, leche, milk, café con leche, por favor. Repeat after me. Café con leche, por favor. Next word is lo siento. So when you want to say I'm sorry, you say lo siento. Repeat after me. Lo siento. Other word which is very important is welcome in Spanish language. It's bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Together is bienvenidos. Repeat after me. Bienvenidos. Great. Thanks a lot for watching the video and please like, share, subscribe and the best part is you can actually demand a video in the comment box. If you want me to make a video related to a particular place or a particular situation, just comment below in the comment box and I'll present the video within a couple of days and if you have turned on the notification icon, you'll actually get the notification that your video is ready. Thank you and keep studying Spanish.